right. Workout one of the announced competition for this Friday will be 12 minutes to establish a one rep max back squat for the fitness group, one rep max front squat for the performance group, and one rep max overhead squat for the competition group. Okay. Here's the rules. Everybody will be getting one rack and one barbell per team. Okay. Everybody will have to work off one rack. Each team will have 845 plates, 225 plates, 215s, 210s, and 25s. And the last stipulation of this all is that the weight cannot go down once it's been attempted. So you guys need to figure out as a team how you're going to build up in weight because everybody's going to try to hopefully get a score and nobody can go back down if they miss one of the lifts. So one rep max back squat, one rep max front squat, one rep max overhead squat, and that's how that first one's going to work. Okay? Workout two. As a team, you will have 60 minutes to row max meters. Okay? Um, every, everybody has to switch every 1,000 meters. And as a way to make this a little bit more even, for every female 1,000 meter row, we're going to add 150 meters just onto that, just to kind of even out between the men and the women. And we will also have a way to equalize the weights for uh, the first workout as well. Workout three is a chipper for time. 200 deadlifts. The weight is 195 and 125. 200 bar facing burpees. And 200 wall ball. Okay, the, the wall ball is 20 pounds for all men, 14 pounds for competition and performance women, 12 pounds for the fitness women, okay? And here is the rules. Even though there's a team of three, one person will be able to rest, another person will have to do the following to get reps. For the deadlift, somebody must be holding their barbell in full extension of the deadlift for everybody else's reps to count. For the bar facing burpees, uh, to count, one person must be holding a 45 pound plate for the men and a 25 pound plate for the females above their head, not resting on their bodies. For the wall balls to count, one person must be holding a front leaning rest on the floor for those reps to count. So these workouts this year involve a little bit more strategy than last year. They involve a little bit more planning and that's why we're announcing all three um, right now in case you guys want to practice because all these, di these dates are already presented so you have time to work on them. Really make sure you understand the rules of everything. Make sure that for this week, this Friday, the weight cannot go down. So if I open up at a 225 pound overhead squat for my team, and I, and I can't go down in weight for anybody else. So make sure you plan properly for that. The 1K row, make sure you guys plan how you're going to be doing this just in case transition times, not everybody might not be able to do every row evenly. And then also for this last workout, it's going to take a lot of game planning. Um, you are more than welcome during down times in classes to come in here and do trial runs with your team, whatever you guys see fit. We'll see you guys Friday. We have 7.30 star time. I'd like for everybody to get here around 6.30 to start warming up. I have somebody from Rossi coming in to work with everybody on some extra squat mobility. So make sure to get here early enough that you could do that. We'll run in a couple heats and then we'll have a barbecue after. Thanks.